There are a lot of vitamins out there, but this video will be talking about the D variety. There are actually five types of vitamin D. When you say quote unquote vitamin D, you're probably referring to vitamin D2 and D3. We're just going to focus on vitamin D3 for now. Vitamin D is important for calcium regulation in the body and can be made by you. Yes, you, Steve, or eaten in foods. You can get vitamin D from foods such as fish, egg yolk, milk, fortified butter, margarine, cheese, and of course, supplements. We'll talk about those later. Did you know your body can make vitamin D? Now your body, yes, you, Steve starts making vitamin D when your skin is hit by ultraviolet B radiation from the sun. This radiation converts certain types of cholesterol in the skin to a precursor of vitamin D3, conveniently named pre-vitamin D3. Pre-vitamin D3 is not quite vitamin D3 yet, so it is transported to the liver, then the kidneys, where it is then converted into vitamin D3 that is ready to do what it's meant to do. The active vitamin D3 goes to the small intestines where it helps absorbing calcium from your food and this causes more calcium to be in the blood. You need calcium in your blood to strengthen your bones and that's why if you don't have enough vitamin D, you won't absorb enough calcium. Because there isn't enough calcium to strengthen the bones, you end up with weak bones that bend and snap easily. In children, this is called rickets and in adults, this is known as osteomalacia. So you should stay in the sun all day and down bottles of supplements to prevent this, right? Well, it turns out you can have too much vitamin D. Hypervitaminosis D, as it's called, leads to way too much calcium in the blood, causing calcium to overstrengthen your bones, making them too thick and heavy. It also causes calcium to start hardening your heart and kidneys, leading to hypertension, dehydration, vomiting, and much more. Luckily, you can only get hypervitaminosis D, which is vitamin D toxicity, from taking an overdose of vitamin D supplements. And so all you have to do is stop taking ridiculously large amounts of vitamin D supplements. So how much vitamin D should you be taking? It turns out, just by being an average Canadian, your average blood levels are already above the health requirement. So consuming the average Canadian diet and being in the sun for an average amount of time, you probably have more than enough vitamin D. If you suspect that you might have a deficiency, the only way of truly knowing is by getting a blood test done at the doctor's. Ask your doctor to see if the D is right for you. Steve. Thanks for watching and for videos on other cool topics, don't forget to like and subscribe.